Hi everyone, this time I want to show you uh, something what I missed many times in past when I doing some experimenting with electronic circuits and when my both hand was on some measurement or just moving some wiring around and in some critical moment I move one of my hand to switch off the power and that results with some fail or some damaging because I just touched something and things like that. So to resolve that I get this simple cheap foot pedal. Uh, I change the cable, this is not the original cable, it's easy to just by removing that two screws and to, to disassemble that and put another one. Uh, I did that in first place to have a, a cable with two parts. So one part so that I can easily detach pedal which will be placed uh, beneath my table. On the other side I put that wiring and uh, a small capacitor of 10 uh, nanofarad and we can see now how it works. So I was connected here pin 7 and 8 I make this connection here pedal will stay on the top of the table just to see how it works and I put two type of load one is just two resistors in serial and uh, another it's automobile lamp. Uh, I have settings on the first channel like 10 volts 4 amp, another 8 volts 2 amp and we can see that it works now by using manual switch off switch on of the outputs but we can also do that let's say remotely or with that pedal now I need to go under system settings in digital I.O. external trigger which is here function is currently none I can put that to inhibit polarity will stay positive and now I can see that inhibit it's active and I cannot see anything on the output and it is marked red that means that is under inhibit control and now we have this okay so basically that's all how to control with external trigger the foot pedal power supply thank you for watching and your attention. Goodbye.